Muslim Shadow Kasa. Shalom, Shalom to the whole full elect of the nation of Israel. We're going to start off this lesson by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and has taught us this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, peace and mercy to the whole full elect that are also pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. As well as uh, you little man and sisters that believe, peace and mercy to you and your household. So um, today's class is going to be another edition, as always, and we're going to continue to get into is the news and prophecy. And as you see here, it says, we are gods. And this statement was made from the WIF, all right, which is the WEF, which, by the way, the WIF, WEF, the WIF, the WHO, the CDC, these are all what you would call NGOs, right? And NGO stands for a non-government organization. So they, they don't adhere to the government, more so the government adheres to them. The government pushes what they mandate, okay? So, oh, yeah, I just want to get that real quick here, just ratification. Um, it says NGO stands for non-governmental organization, right? While there is no university agreed upon definition, but yeah, this is the point right here, non-governmental organization. And um, so before we get into um, the clip I want to play to get some context as to, you know, what this whole uh, New World B system um, the M-A-R-K is truly about, and in terms of the super elite, what are they after, right? They said that we are gods. So as implied, that implies that they're after that godhood. But you have to trace this back to its origins, and uh, that's what we're going to get here in Genesis 27. As you see, it says, Jacob's deception, right? So... Um, I'm going to start at 28 and just read down to uh, 41. So this is Genesis 28 and uh, 41, or 20, Genesis 7 and 28, and it reads, Therefore, therefore, uh, Yahweh, therefore God, Yahweh, give thee the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth, and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee, nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Curse be everyone that curses thee, and blessed be he that blesses thee. And this is basically the blessing that Jacob received right through the spirit. All right. And uh this is also why you can't you can't curse. You know, you can't curse Israel because you'll ultimately be cursed. Okay. And, uh, you know, there's an occasion of that when you go to uh, Balaam. Right. Balaam, uh, the Moabite king, tried to basically, he set up, he tried to set up a curse on Israel. And in, and in turn, he ended up cursing himself. And that's exactly pertaining to this blessing here. So going on, it says, verse 30, they came to pass as soon as Isaac and had made an end of being Jacob, of blessing Jacob. And Jacob was yet scarce gone out from the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. And you know what? I was actually reading this earlier in the NLT. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It's pretty good, actually. So I'm going to quickly go there. Uh, Genesis 27 and... Uh, 30 in the NLT. It says, as soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob and almost before Jacob had left his father, Esau returned from his hunt. Esau prepared a delicious meal and brought it to his father. Then he said, sit up, my father, and eat my wild game so you can give me your blessing. And that word game is just another word for uh, meat, hunt. 
means that you hunted. And it says, but Isaac asked him, who are you? Esau replied, it is your son, your firstborn Esau. Isaac began to tremble uncontrollably and said, uh, then who just served me wild game? I had already eaten it and I, and I blessed him just before you came. And yes, the blessing must stand. When Esau heard his father's words, he let out a loud, bitter cry. Oh, my father, what about me? Bless me too, he begged. But Isaac said, your brother was here and he tricked me. He asked, which is what the name Jacob means, right? It means supplanter. Um, because when he came out of the womb, he was holding the heel of his brother Esau. Okay. And you have that term, you know, your Achilles heel, right? Basically, you know, you, you when you kick someone in the, when you usually want to trip someone, you kick them in the heels, they trip and fall. So it says, but Isaac said, your brother was there, was here and tricked me. He has taken away your blessing. Esau exclaimed, no wonder his name is Jacob. <laughs> For now he has cheated me twice. First, he took my rights as the firstborn, and now he has stolen my blessing. Oh, haven't you saved even one blessing for me? Isaac said, said to Esau, I have made Jacob your master and have declared that all his brothers will be his servants. I have guaranteed him a abundance of grain and wine that is left for what is left for me to give you, my son? So basically, Isaac's like, listen, I already blessed him with everything. You know, I don't have much to bless you with. And it says, Esau pleaded, but do you have only one blessing? Oh, my father, bless me too. Then Esau broke down and wept. Finally, his father Isaac said to him, you will live away from the rich richness of the earth and away from the dew of heaven above, you will live by your sword and you will serve your brother. But when you when you decide to break free, you will shake his yoke from your neck. And um, then, to add to what you're saying, just to yeah. give some character to the, um, the characteristics of the character Esau, to show that the Bible is always pointing finger at the so-called white man. Like, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. so guns don't go bang, right? But you know, when you watch cartoons, you fire the gun and a thing will come and says bang mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. That's his rendition of the sound of a gun because it's all about, all about violence. And notice he didn't say, I don't want that, right. don't give me that blessing. Oh. He was happy <laughs> you know what I mean? to be, yep. to be, you know, so that would be his blessing, you know, like, like violence. Yep, right? Yep. He didn't say, No, man, that, that ain't for me. He's yeah. like, all right, I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's, yeah. that's the spirit you said that, act because I'm going to get the commentary. He's basically going to say what you just said. Gone. Yeah. Really? Uh, verse 41, for that time on, Esau hated Jacob because his father had given, given Jacob the blessing, and Esau began to scheme. I will soon be mourning my father's death. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. All right, so um, I got this just to get just to give us a context before we get into this video about what the desires of these super elites are. They want to get back this blessing that they that they believe was stolen from them. Yeah. All right, I use that word scheme. Right, that's saying the world scheming like a demon. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's funny. I'm going to go into the comment commentary here real quick. Um, uh, Jameson, Jameson, Fawcett, and uh, Brown. And uh, we're going to skip down here to 29 or yeah, 29. So this is concerning the blessing of Jacob. So it says, uh, verse concerning verse 29, let people serve thee fulfilled 
in the discomfiture of the hostile tribes that oppose Israel in the wilderness and in the preeminence and power they attained after their national establishment in the promised land. This blessing was not realized to Jacob, but to his descendants and the temporal blessing promised were but a shadow of those spiritual ones, mm -hmm. right? Because the spiritual ones would be that we would become gods. You see, we would go back to our godhood and we would go back to that state of mm -hmm. perfection and never sinning, right? That we once had and, you know, we gave up just like Esau gave up his birthright, <laughs> you know, um, to those spiritual ones, which formed the grand distinction of Jacob's prosperity. So you see, so the grand distinction of Jacob's prosperity, which would be the 12 sons, was that they would, out of those 12 sons, you would have a uh, chosen seed, and that chosen seed would be the elect, starting with 144,000. Right. Okay. Now, going down to uh, 30 to 35, concerning verse 30 to 35, it says, Esau came in from his hunting. Scarcely had the former scene been concluded when the fraud was discovered. The emotions of Isaac as well as Esau may easily be imagined. The astonishment, alarm, and sorrow of one, Isaac, the disappointment and indignation of the other, uh, Esau. But a moment's reflection, take this in, a moment's reflection convinced <laughs> the age patriarch, Jake Isaac, that the transfer of the blessing was of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And now, irrevocable, the in, importunities, which basically means uh, to be troublesome. Okay, so the importunities of Esau, however, overwhelmed him. So when Esau was begging and he was in that sorrow, like, you know, you don't got a blessing for me. My brother tricked me, tricked me, right? Isaac's looking at him, watching him cry. And Isaac's like, in his mind, he knows it was of the Lord. Okay, and it says, and as the pro prophetic affluence, which is just Basically, it means divine intervention. When you look up this word, A-F-F-L-A-T-U-S, was upon the patriarch, he added what was probably a please. So this is what you just said, Kazak. Fine. Right? He added what was probably as pleasing to a man of Esau's character. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> as the other mm -hmm. would have been. You see? So, yo, that whole intervention of Jacob stealing Esau's birthright was spiritual. And, you know, Jake, Isaac has seen it as being spiritual. And it was also spiritual because the blessing that Isaac would give Esau would fit his spirit. Gone. You know? Because <laughs> you know? that's like, it. It's like, God, a, what? It's like, like if, um, you know, you have some friends that, you know, certain friends, you know, they can tolerate being around a gun. And right. certain friends, you know, like, hey, bro, nah, man, uh, I'm going to pass. But yeah, that right. one friend, yeah, but let me see it. <laughs> let, me, yeah. let me hold it. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. the head case of the father knew that son's spirit. He would like that. That's right. That's right. right. Con. Very spiritual. Con. And, you know, I was going to say, too, because the spirit that's in Esau is the same spirit that was in Cain. Con. And Cain was a murderer. He's, his name means weapon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is he? So, it was all spiritual, man. That's right. So last, last, last little uh, insert here, verse 39 to 40 says, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. The first part is a promise of temporal prosperity, mm -hmm. right? Made in the same terms as Jacob. Mm -hmm. The second part refers to, to roving, which just is another word for uh, uh, like um, running around, mm -hmm. like uh, the rover, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Moving about. Right, moving about. Roving life of hunting freebooters. So like pirates, you know, uh, going into other countries mm -hmm. and stealing all the resources, which he and his descendants should lead. Mm -hmm. 
though Esau was not personally subject to his brother, his prosper his prosperity would oh, were tributaries to the Israelites. Go ahead. Right? Till the reign of Joram when they revolted and established a kingdom of their own. So mm -hmm. it gives us precepts to refer to that, and that's Second Kings 8 and 20. And it says, in this day, Edom revolted under the hand of Judah and made a king over themselves. All right. So from that time on, Esau has always been, you know, basically aiding the heathens, Babylonians and the Assyrians, okay, in, in basically taking us over, taking us down until he came up into the power, which is the Greeks, after the Persians, the Greeks, and then the Romans. But then we would come into power for a thousand years and then we would get taken down and Esau would come into power for a little season. You see? So uh, with that being said now, let's get into this clip. And I'm gonna play it from the beginning. So this is a World Economic Forum inside. This is off uh, Rumble, and uh, a World Economic Forum inside. Um, it's from the People's Choice or the People's Voice. You go subscribe. Some good information on this uh, this channel, and it says W E F declare we are gods. If you stand in our way, you will die. <laughs> mm -hmm. nice. uh, yep, yep, and. Um, yeah, the brother Mayan sent me this. I had already seen this before he had sent it to me, but I was thinking about doing a lesson or something else, but I saw that he had sent this, so this is spirit. Mm -hmm. I decided to go and do a lesson on it. But anyway, I'm going to play this lesson, play this uh, clip. It has declared that the globalist elite are going to become God. Right. Gods. And if you insert there will be big trouble. According to the globalists, the only way to stop them becoming gods is to kill them. And before you manage to do that, from the WF to date, and it leaves no room for the mainstream media and their fact checkers to dissemble the facts and muddy the waters. There is no room for debate. The globalist elites have messiah complexes, and they are hell bent on playing God. Before we dive in, subscribe. To you said they have messiah complexes, right? Anointed. To the channel if you haven't already, and join the People's Voice Locals community for uncensored and exclusive news and views. And to support. A little too fast. Yeah, that's the best. All right, we put it at one twenty-five. It's funny. I like to listen to this stuff at like one. Times seven five, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, as Esau, it, it likes Russian things. You know, what I mean, because why make light up? You know, what I mean, like that, like that's Esau's spirit. <laughs> fast, everything fast. Yeah, <laughs> like, time. well, hey, man, we're in that short time. Come on, we're in short time. We're in that famine, man. You gotta listen to everything quick. All right. WF Insider, if you don't like the agenda of the globalist elites, you don't have to participate. You can go and get yourself euthanized. If you pay close attention, you'll hear that he clearly states that they're going to become gods, and there is nothing you can do about it. Resist, they will kill you. We are going to become gods. If you don't like it, get off. You don't have to contribute. You don't have to participate. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming god, I have big trouble. And we'll have warfare. The only way you could prevent me is in this 50 year is to kill me. If you kill me, I'll kill you. <laughs> the chilling speech mirrors warnings delivered by Yuval Noah Harari, Klaus Schwab's right hand man in recent times. Harari also mocks ordinary people as useless and hopeless and tells humanity they have no future worth living in the brave new world of the WF's Agenda 2030, where the elites have the power of creation and destruction. Developing even bigger powers than ever before. We are really acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. But the blasphemy of the elites doesn't stop there. And he's a low level, right? They're, they're, these guys... So they're just, they're just puppeteers of, 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 uh, of the... Like we will expose their plans to supplant Jesus and Christianity. No puppeteers, puppets. Christianity in the Western world with their own diabolical religion. But from our sponsor. A shocking new study reveals that power grid loss and blackouts could send half of America to the emergency room this summer. The study states that over tens of thousands of deaths and millions of hospitalizations would occur in the event of an extended power failure. This is why I highly recommend. Skip a little bit ahead. 
religions. According to the WEF, there isn't enough room for two saviors of mankind on this Jesus to be consigned to the dustbin of history. I mean, all this story about Jesus rising from the dead and being the son of God, this is fake news. Humans. Is it a little slow? Is it lagging? Huh? Is it lagging? No. Okay, okay, okay. Are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will. That's over. According to the WEF, Jesus is fake news. God is dead and you do not have a soul. You are a hackable animal whose future has been determined for you, and you do not have the capacity for free will. The World Economic Forum has spent decades quietly infiltrating elected governments, penetrating cabinets, and wielding outsized influence on the world from the corridors of Schwab's Swiss hideout in Davos. These tyrants have now become arrogant and sure of their own success. They are no longer... Uh, is Revelation 6 and 4? Uh, beautiful. This, and it's, it's pertaining to Esau. A dark saying was mentioned, and we're pulling pulling at the veil, right? Con. So Revelation six and four. Con. This is Revelation chapter six, verse four, and it reads, "And there went out another horse that was red." Con. Mm -hmm. So that red symbolized Esau, the humble beginnings. Um, when they give a description of the of one of the brothers, say so he came out red, and hairy. Mm -hmm. So that red. Is this precept over here in Revelation? So if you're in a no, right, and the spirit's dealing with you, you you, 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 you match together, right? right? So the red mm -hmm. horse, right, and the horse right. symbolizes power. You have a thing called white power, but also this man is based on deception. So he knows he's not white, right? Mm -hmm. But the world, so he, he can he can camouflage himself under white when he should be red power. That's be a true way of describing himself, right? Red power, right? So does Horus is someone has his power. All right, keep reading. Come on. It says, and power was given to him that sat thereon to so take. That's, that's what you read earlier on. Jacob got the got the blessings after, but Isaac got the fatness of the earth. That right. comes with power. Esau got the fatness right. of the earth. God, yeah, Esau, yeah. So Isaac mm -hmm. gave the, 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 the power with the Esau, right? right? Um, the, the fatness of the earth you know, is, is, is the loftiness, right? To right. Enjoy, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So, so th that's given the character characteristics, right. right? And that's how we decipher who is who in the earth today. That's one. This is one of the ways. All right. right. Keep reading. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. So see that. So the sign on his door, like if he was in a, in a warehouse, <laughs> it wouldn't be office of peace. Mm -hmm. It'd be office of wickedness, right? So you want to about wickedness and, and and civil unrest. His door, we have to have to say, you know, hey man, want civil unrest? You say, Edomite, come on and sit down. What do you want? What do you want done? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because because that's his his gift, mm -hmm. right? That's his blessings. That's right. All right? That's you right. And that they should kill one another. See that. And that's why you have all sort of things going on in the earth, right? I'm watching this thing right now on Netflix. It's called Painkillers. And it's oh, con. con. You see yeah. you seen it? No, I heard about it. Yeah, heard it's about bad, it. bro. It's bad. Yeah. I'm sure okay. all them damn demons are wicked, man. Con. Right? Just okay. sit there and, and, and think, how do we get richer and cause misery at the same time? <laughs> right? And they sit there and, and, and <sighs> counsel about it and, 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 and clap and jolt and, hey, we're going to, you know? Like, damn, if you're a wicked man prescribing something, this one's gonna mess you up, right? And they just cheers each other, right? For, for doing because that, that's 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 how they get down. Mm -hmm. That's the blessings, man, to that's take right. peace from the earth and to kill one another, right? Mm -hmm. Rap music is based on a bunch of um, um, sociopath, right? And serial killers, that's what they're those guys are telling you how to be a serial killer, man, yeah, right? And who's paying it, Esau, because that's that's his that's that's his department. That's right. They okay. showed you in that movie, uh, they cloned Tyrone. Khan. Yeah. Cloning, cloning Tyrone. Yeah, cloning Tyrone. Yeah, Khan. Khan. <laughs> Let's finish it up. 
Yeah, it says that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. So see that that word sword <laughs> pops out of you again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But that great sword is basically the ICBM. But anything that has to do with killing, right, murdering, that's where the, the, the banner he comes under, right. But we know ultimately the great sword, the sword of all swords, is an ICBM missiles. Mm -hmm. All right, but 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 anything when it comes to archery, like sure you have, you have some jakes that are good with archery, like the, the, the arrows, mm -hmm. but Esau dominates that, and it's, it's for a reason. When it comes mm -hmm. to guns, gun toting, and, and how to make them, and Esau dominates that. Right. So 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 that we're giving characteristics to the character. Right. All right. All right. Let's sit on that. Beautiful. For hiding in the shadows and pulling the puppet strings from behind the curtains. According to Schwab, it's his role to shape the transformation of the world in the current period, and he plans on using genetic editing to change humanity on a cellular level, whether they like it or not. The difference of this first uh, industrial revolution is it doesn't change what you are doing. It changes you if you take a genetic editing. In globalist circles, the madness and messiah complexes run deep. Bill Gates has a long history of playing God. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. warned us years ago about this trait in Gates' psychopathic psychology. According to Kennedy Jr., the World Health Organization is conducting global social and medical experimentation in accordance with the vision of their mega-donor Bill Gates and his religious faith that he can use technology, vaccines and GMO agriculture to make him the savior to all of humanity. Gates' strategy of buying WHO and purchasing control of US health officials like Tony Fauci and Deborah Birx means the Microsoft co-founder can now dictate global health policies affecting 7 billion people and to control the most intimate details of our lives, said Kennedy Jr. on his Instagram. The Instagram page. And Gates isn't the only one. WF Agenda contributor and longtime globalist scourge George Soros also claims he is God and the creator of everything. However, the billionaire financier also warns that he is a self centered God who believes normal rules don't apply to him. The lunatics really have. Right. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 11. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. That's how these people get down. Yeah. And like I said, we're, we're just calling it out because we know yeah. the most I has set up this man. To do exactly what he's doing, all right. Yeah. Like it, it, it was, it, it was aforementioned, mm -hmm. and we're just calling it out, you know, because Esau is doing what Esau was made to do, mm -hmm. right? right? He's actually, he's not really wrong in a sense because the word God also goes into Lord, right? Landlord, and if you mm -hmm. want to buy any kind of land, you have to petition Esau, right? And he says no, it's no. He came right. to sell you some land and kick you off of it, man. Because the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. That's right. All right. God. It says, verse 11, let our strength, or Psalm chapter 2, verse 11, let our strength be the law of justice. So that's what's in their mind, right? That, that's why when, when, when they consult, have their counsels, right? Back and forth emails. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about, right? We're gonna make 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 make. We're gonna run this bitch. Should be, you know, mm -hmm. the, you know, because yeah. because that's your blessing, and they understand that. Jake is the only um, nationality, basically, on the earth that doesn't understand his humble beginnings. <laughs> Each every other nation, they have some something to go back to, some heritage, some 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 lineage that they can they, they can you know reflect Constant. on and, yeah. and, and ascribe to. We Jake's outside of the don't mm -hmm. right. So Esau is doing what. What, you know what was given to him, man. He says, "Let the strength of the law." So that's why he changed the laws, legislations. Yeah. All right. Keep reading. Yeah. And if I may add to, um, he's all about perverting, right? And to pervert something, it had to been already straight, right? So that law of justice, you know, refers back to the Bible, how he uh, has, uh, you know, that's basically what he did. He perverted the laws. And, and 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 twisted them so they benefit him. Gone. You know that's how that's that, that was Christianity slavery. Gone. Okay, so it says for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. And that word feeble now, the characteristics as a matter of character. So it means lacking strength, lacking the power to do anything contrary to what he wants to do. Right. That's mainly your so-called blacks, Negroes, and Native Americans. Right, weak, right, and he said, What found to be nothing worth them niggas are good for nothing, man. Damn yeah. wet back, damn spick, stupid coon, baboon, niggers, monkey, right? Yeah, 
So that's what meant. that's why he talks so, so proudly because only people that can stop him, right, right, is his, is his nemesis on the right hand side, which is us Israelites. So these videos, right, is grieving something to me. He hates these videos, yep. right? That's why we get those emails with the whistle. Stop! <laughs> you were know? <You're> offended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're the begging, yeah. no, man, I didn't mean that. You know, right. I mean, cover it down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's it, brother. That's it. Con, I'm just going to read verse 12 real quick. Yeah. And then I got a quick precept, too. This is uh, verse 12. Therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous, right? Which is the ultimately the elect. Con. Mm -hmm. It says, because he is not for our turn. Mm hmm. He is clean contrary to our doing. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is clean. That's what right. we're doing. Right? Right. Like, like, what's more innocent than this? Some brothers, you know, hey, brother, at 9 o'clock, 9.30, you know, we're, we're going live on the stream. You know, right. and we're grown-ass men. You know, mm -hmm. we could be doing lots. Yo, I'm going to a spliff. No, we can push. No, we ain't doing that, man. Right? Yeah. Contrary to, to what he want to have us doing. That's why it's legal now. You can buy weed. You can go and, and, and buy weed, vape, all these things. Mm -hmm. about that, man. I'm read the Bible. That's mm -hmm. unheard of. <laughs> right. Yep, and you know, ultimately, you know, uh, Jake would have that spirit to serve the Lord and do the right thing. Con. You know? And, you know, Esau wouldn't. Esau is always, like, he would be carnal-minded because, you know, if you're a spiritual-minded man, you would never sell your birthright. Mm -hmm. You know, but because he was uh, hungry and he basically rejected his birthright, because he didn't see the spiritual power, the spiritual effects of having that birthright, you know. Right. As I said, if it was if it was possible, it would fool the very elect. So yeah. That's also mean like right now, what could Isa offer any of us, right? No, that's what we have right now. What could he give you? You have billion dollars. Take this chip. Suck your mother. <laughs> you right. ain't taking that, man. <laughs> we're good. Right. You know, because right. now we understand it. You know what we're giving up. That's right. And it says. He upbraideth, which means to ridicule, right? Ver, he upbraideth us with our offending the law. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. that law of justice and the law here is what? The book. What are we, what are we you know, condemning these Edomites on doing is transgressing the Bible, the laws of the, book, of the Bible, because they swear upon it. They do their uh, inaugurations, whatever, however you pronounce it. Yeah, inauguration. Yeah, in yeah inauguration. right. inaugurations. Yeah. Right. They have that. They have that. Uh, <laughs> their so-called pup or their puppet swear on the Bible, put his right hand and up and swear on the Bible, right? So it says, an ob objective to our infamy, the transgress, the transgressing of our education. That's right. So mm -hmm. everything that they tell us. And right now they're pushing that uh, alphabet soup, you know. Yeah. And we don't get down like that, you know. Yeah. We're, we're dead against it. Like That's everything, right. like even the Carl Schwab, like, like that diamond is, is an abomination. Look at bald, shiny head, smooth <laughs> face. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Looks like a, right. looks like a, looks like a phallus, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? That's true. That's true. It, it, it's sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything, everything that, that that's that's um pro Yasha Allah, they're contrary to. Even in the looks, right? You know, right. the way they dress, That's right? right? Things they eat, their, their conversations, the slack, everything about these people is just off, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Taking over the asylum, and it's our job to take back control before it's too late. I fancied myself as some kind of god, George Soros wrote in his book, Soros on Soros. If truth be known, I carried some rather potent messianic fantasies with me from childhood, which I felt I had to control. Other you see, this guy is saying that it was in his spirit. <laughs> um, like in Thessalonians, man. Yeah, we're going to get that. All right. <laughs> we're going to get that. Otherwise, they might get me in trouble. When asked by Britain's independent newspaper to elaborate on that statement, Soros doubled down. It is a sort of disease when you consider yourself some kind of god, the creator of everything. But I feel comfortable about it now since I began to live it out. In his book, Soros <laughs> also says, I do not accept the rules imposed by others, and in periods of regime change, the normal rules don't apply. If you wonder what Soros means by this period of regime change, it has become clear that he was talking about the New World Order. Clearly, the globalist elite have earmarked these times to usher in the long-threatened New World Order with its false promises of climate science, depopulation, and eugenics. But thanks to people like yourself, the masses are beginning to wake up to reality. 
Wanted posters have begun appearing in Europe, demanding the arrest of Bill Gates, Klaus Schwab, Anthony Fauci, and others. For their that's just prophecy, right? You, uh, Second Ezra says that they should rise up against their kings or not regard the, the princes or nor their kings, right? So that's what's happening. That, that's just prophecy. But at the end of the day, they're still going to take the see him. <laughs> All these people that are revolting are still going to take the M-A-R-K because mm -hmm. evidently, you know, you're revolting and you're taking arms against this 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 devil, but all that is carnality. You see, the majority of these people don't know that all everything that Esau is doing is prophecy. Mm -hmm. And he's 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 made to do it. The Heavenly yeah. Father is giving him the power to do it. And um you just said that he's a creator, creator of all things. Right. So um uh first Galatians say I mean Galatians one and sixteen. A quick reset for that one. Con. Colossians? Yes. 1 and 16. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16, and it reads, For by him were all things created. And that him is um, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. You can preach right. with, 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 uh, John, the book of John, chapter 1, and also right. um, Jeremiah 10, 16. You don't have to go there. I'm just saying, uh, it says, Jacob is the creator of all, the form of all things. All right, so that so Jacob starts with the Awashai. He that that was a seed, right, of righteousness. Right. Okay, so Esau didn't do none of goddamn thing, man. Con. Can I uh, start from thirteen and quickly read down? Con, go ahead, brother. Con. So it says, verse thirteen: Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? So the power, the darkness has power in it, man. You right. Know what I mean. Right. <laughs> Esau, the thing in the world says ignorance is bliss, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't know what you're saying. You're ignorance is bliss. You're saying it's good to be stupid. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. And, and, and you know what I mean? And yeah. you think it's something, it's, it's like a nice saying. Ignorance is bliss. It's not. Right. It's right. not right. good to be stupid. <laughs> Dumb, man. Wow. Or, yeah. or nice. You know? Yeah. Be a nice guy. Why, why, don't you, why don't you be a nice guy? He <laughs> knows what the word means. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> People don't. Yeah, for sure. Yep. It mm -hmm. says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, mm -hmm. who in the image of the inv invisible God, who is, who is, oh yeah, Slack, eh? who is the image, the image of the invisible God, Yahweh, the firstborn of every creature, mm -hmm. <laughs> for by him we all but for by him were all things created that so that shows you right there that the only thing the heavenly father's ever created was Yahweh Shai Gone. and Yahweh Shai created everything else that's right but here he's not saying that we just, we just know that he, they create all everything right for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible mm-hmm Right, so spirits, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the elect were created by Yahweh Shai too. Mm -hmm. It says, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, <laughs> yeah, because all the demons, all this, every spirit in the spiritual realm uh, uh, bows and adheres to Yahweh Shai. Right. You know, right. all things were created by him. For him, that's right. So you know, so we wrestle not against with flesh, but principalities. Right, right. Yeah, how should I say those principalities? That's why you can't. Beat them. Uh, <laughs> that's why you can't beat them. Man. That's right. right. That's mm -hmm. right. I'll read this last verse. It says, "And he is before all things, and by him all things consist." Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, so we have, we have a Colombian drug lord, right? And and he's ruthless, right? Guess who made him that ruthless? Con, con. Con, kahala yahwa shemel I'll finish this up. But there is so much more work to be done. If you understand the importance of our work in educating the masses about the evil agenda of the elites, please like. Okay, so that's it on that. So, uh, let's go into Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, mm -hmm. 
and we're going to read down from 1 to 12. Um, before I read that, let me just uh, bring this quick precept out. I'll read it, brother, yeah. because, um, you know, you mentioned a powerful thing there when you read that in regards to the obedience of all the principalities. So this is James 2 and 19. It says, <laughs> you say you have faith for you believe, right? Speaking to, speaking obviously to the elect, okay? Or anybody who picks his book up <laughs> and think they believe, right? But namely the elect, that's who the Lord's speaking to. And then he says that there is one power, right? right? And he says, good, good for you, right? Even the demons <laughs> believe this mm -hmm. and they tremble in terror. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay? It's going to leave that. So, so yeah, this devil knows, man. This guy knows. But he has to, what, give, he has to give obedience to the Lord on the left-hand side because nothing can happen without our power sanctioning it. But yes, he knows. But he's right. in, he, he fears and trembles. Anyway, that's the point on that. Gone. So, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse one, as you see, it says, "The man of lawlessness." Mm -hmm. And uh, so it says, "Now we beseech you, brethren, <laughs> by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and by our gathering together unto Him, which is assembly, right? It's an assembly, and we just uh, finished the blowing, the memorial of the blowing of the trumpets." which is an assembly being called. It says that ye be soon, ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letters from us as that the day of Yahweh is at hand. And um, you have to understand the history to know what, the, to know the context of this uh, chapter too as well as yeah. this verse because back then, when Yahushua came and uh, he died and was risen up again, the Lord, the Lord risen him up, the Most High risen him up after three days, he fulfilled prophecy. So all the apostles, all right, at that time and the disciples were expecting the kingdom to be, to come at that time. But Yahushua basically told them that there's much more that needs to play out and you're going to be prophesying in the other, in the other most parts of the earth before the kingdom comes. So at that time, you know, there was a lot of discouragement uh, among among Israel. So you had a lot of people going, you know, into different various camps and overthrowing the faith of many by saying the resurrection has already come and this, that, and the third. Right. So that's why he's saying this. Um, verse three says, let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Now, this this precept contains a lot of history. It <laughs> just is one precept. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, even that and word, I'm, yeah, that word sin, right? Right. It translates the death, right? Right. So the man of death. <laughs> so right. again, right. if if you understand the scriptures, you want you want to stay. Sh sh Far from this man, because the Bible tells you that, that man, anything he, he deals with is death. That's right. right? That's right. The ways of sin is death. So the ways of the white man is death. <laughs> <laughs> right? <John. laughs> um, to back up verse three, this is Revelation 20 and two. It says, And he laid hold on the dragon, mm -hmm. that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Right. So that time period was basically when we were ruling and Esau calls it the dark ages. Right. But it's, that's the time that we were ruling in. Right. So it says and cast him into the bottomless pit. Right. Outermost parts of Europe and shut him up. They like, like, for example, the Caucasus Mountain, Asian mountains. Right. And shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more, right? Because before we were, before um, he was shut up for a thousand years, who was rolling, who was, who was uh, ruling? He was, the Romans, right? And the Romans, you know, they had conquered basically the known world at that time. So it says, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, 
And after that, he must be loosed a little season. So going back to that blessing that we read about when uh, Esau is going to, when Esau and his descendants would break the yoke of us off his neck, that's going into here too. Okay. Because that little season basically represents about 500 and some years from 13, 1325 until now. And really he's living on board time. Now I'm going to quickly read, go back to Thessalonians now. And, uh, let me just quickly read this in the NLT. In the NLT, it says uh, verse two and two and three. Um, Don't be so easily shaken or alarmed by those who say that the day of the Lord has already been uh, begun. Or skip it down to verse three. It says, "Don't be fooled by what they say, for for that day will not come until there is a great rebellion." against God, Yahweh, and the man of lawlessness is revealed. The one who brings destruction. Hey, Uncle, what are you reading? Are you, NFT, or you, you yeah. didn't change the screen. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Gone. Yeah, yeah. Gone. Let me just change the screen real quick. Gone. Yeah, gone. All right. In the NLT, it's like I'll read it one more time. It says, don't be fooled. By what they say, for that day will not come until there is a great rebellion uh, against God, Yahweh, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the one who brings destruction. So that great rebellion is ultimately, that's the, oh, that's the M-A-R-K. And you're seeing that he's been rebelling against the Heavenly Father, and do we already called it out, uh, the the... The, basically the, the sexual perversion of genders, okay? And then the manipulation of food, the mixing of seeds, seedless foods, all this, that, and the third, man. Okay, verse four, it says, he will exalt himself and defy everything that people call God and every object of worship. Mm -hmm. He will even sit in the temple of God claiming that he himself is God. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, that temple is basically your mind, right? So he's in all the Israelites, all the world, right? Exalting himself as Yahweh Shai, but in the guise of Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. We know that, that name Jesus is not a first of all, that's not his name, right? His name is Yahweh Shai, but in every church, no matter what denomination you're going, one thing they have in common is that red supremacy. Right, hanging up there, a dead. Uh, yep. As the Lord and Savior, All right. So that that's that's in your mind. Like the IOIC said, Jesus the Black Christ. Jesus has a spirit attached to it, man. No matter how, how you want to do it, you know. Yeah, white man. That's right. That's right. All right. This is uh, Revelation thirteen. He opened. His mouth in blasphemy against mm -hmm. God, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, mm -hmm. right? Which the tabernacle goes into the people, Israelites, mm -hmm. right? And uh, you can go into iconoclasm, right? And it says, and them that dwell in heaven, mm -hmm. right? The angels, the most high, Yahweh. And it says, all right, the most high Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And it says, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints mm -hmm. and to overcome them. And the power and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So that's that little season we read about. He should be loose a little season. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, we're in that season, right? I'm going to preach it for you quick. You have to go to us, read it quickly. Yeah, uh, kind of. concerns on the temple. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians three and sixteen reads, "Know ye not that ye are the temple right. of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, That's right. and that the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai dwelleth in you." That's right. Okay, so clarifies if a, if a, if a two third nigga oh, it doesn't mean that, right? Precepts yeah. explains precepts. 
happen. Another quick one too, Isaiah 14 and 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into the heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Mm -hmm. right? Which is uh, us Israelites starting with the elect. Um, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend, which is over here in North America, primarily Babylon the Great, which is uh, the United States. It says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. I appreciate it. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Uh, Isaiah 47, uh, verse 10. Con. And it reads, Go ahead. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Mm -hmm. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. Mm. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am a none else beside me. Right? And Esau is blasphemy, blasphemy in the heavens, the judges, the angels, the images. You know, and being puffed up in on his pride, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And yeah, that's it on that. Come. Second Thessalonians 2 and uh, 4. It says, he will exalt himself and defy everything that people call God and every object of worship. He will even sit in the temple of God, Yahweh, and claim that he is God himself. Mm-hmm. Don't you remember that I told you about all this when I was with you, right? Mm -hmm. Again, going back to my point, a lot of men where a lot of Israelites were, were discouraged and uh, were, were basically uh, infiltrated by a lot of other Israelites that were set up, okay? Um, that's why the scriptures say them that, were, that crept unawares. And you have the same thing going on today, all right? You got the same Israelites telling you that the MOTB isn't the sea hip or the Karagma isn't the sea hip, all right? Telling you that Jacob's trouble is not going to come. It says... And you know what is holding him back, mm -hmm. for he can be for he can be revealed only when his time comes, and this is the time. Okay, we're in the time where Esau is being uh, uh, being uh, revealed, and he's being made naked and bare. Mm -hmm. Verse seven it says, "For this lawlessness is already at work secretly." <laughs> and it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Mm -hmm. So basically, to understand that, that's the Heavenly Father. So the Heavenly Father is the one that opened us up, our minds, into what's really going on. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Showing you that he's in full control of, of this whole thing. Let me get this in Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. Mm -hmm. Most high is the one who can do everything, man. So this says, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living, which is the elect, and also all, you know, starting with the elect, the living may know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men, right? It's really the elect because the rest of these people on the planet don't know that. Mm -hmm. That's That's, this is a secret, mm -hmm. right? It says... He giveth and sake and giveth it to whomever, whomsoever he will, mm -hmm. and setteth up over it the basis of men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now going back to verse eight, going down to verse eight, it says, uh, then the man of lawlessness will be revealed, but the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai will kill him with yeah. the of his mouth, mm -hmm. and so, 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 so this is basically daggers to his to his heart, man. The, the, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> these videos were putting up. That's what the apostle is like, flood him. Yep, right? and that spirit was putting on apostles to do that, man. That's right. right to kill this man. Right, That's right. right. So it, 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 it's just all um, target shots, man. Target to the heart. Come on, come right. <laughs> Man, I got a precept to back you up since you said that. And then this verse, I'll just finish off this verse and I'll get the precept. It says, the Lord Yahweh Shai will kill him with his with the breath of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Right? So Yahweh Shai is working through the prophets. Okay? In, in terms of prophesying and, and teaching this word and bringing out the truth. And destroy him by the splendor of his coming. So 
the beginning of this man's downfall is this truth coming out, this word mm -hmm. coming out. And then Yahweh is going to come and actually do away with him and his kingdom. So this is Hosea, just to back up uh, the precept and also what uh, Kazak said about this word. Mm -hmm. uh, Hosea 6 and 5, it says, Therefore have I hewn them by the prophets. Mm -hmm. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Right. And thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. <laughs> All right. All right. Nice briefly. Gone. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Job, Job 15, verse 21. Gone. And it reads, A dreadful sound is in his ears. Right? <laughs> that dreadful sound is his truth. <laughs> 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 In prosperity, uh, the destroyer shall come upon him, right? So when he's at his apex, you know, the height of his kingdom, Yahweh and the angels are going to put an end to it. Yeah. Mm. yeah right? That's great. That's it on that. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, uh, um, so going back, Second Thessalonians 2 and 9, it says, This man will come to do the work of Satan with counterfeits for with counterfeit power mm -hmm. and signs and miracles. Mm -hmm. Right? And that counterfeit power is basically his technology. Um, right. And it's pseudoscience. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it's pseudoscience. Yep. And then it says, verse uh, 10, he will use every kind of evil deception to fool those on their way to destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the NLT hits it right. It hits it right. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yep. Because they refuse to love and accept the truth that would save them Fine. right and to love mm -hmm. is to obey Fine. right so you got a lot of israelites that are just full out rebels okay and they don't want to they, they don't want to come and obey and adhere to this truth so guess what they're going to be sent off to, the, to their destruction mm -hmm. it says verse 11 so so god yahweh will cause them to be greatly deceived and they will believe these lies Right. And it says, then they will be commanded, uh, condemned, yeah. okay. then they will be condemned for enjoying evil <laughs> rather than believing the truth. Fine. You see? And the word evil was going into a bad time. So what they call a good time. Right. right? It's actually a bad time in the sight of the Lord. Right. Right. On um, revelry. Like you see, Carabana was it was promoted as a good time. Come on and celebrate your culture. That's black culture, and that word black goes into death, right? That's why you won't see us down there for no reason at all, it's right? I, I didn't watch on TV. Sure. It, it's 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 upset to my stomach to see a big grown ass black woman, you know, gyrating and you know have kids at a home, you know, it's madness, man. Right, right, yep. Um, and you know that that's basically what Esau is promising the world. Through his so you know, especially with this movement of uh, um, what's it called? Um, new, this new, they call it the New Age movement, mm -hmm. right? Which, which is really, and they get into meditation and all that, and that's just really worshiping, you know, Satan, mm -hmm. you know, and Lucifer. They call it, you know, light, light, enlightenment. Mm -hmm. But it, it's all about giving you liberty from the shackles of wisdom and order. Mm -hmm. That's what he's promising. So this is Psalms two and two. It says the kings of the earth set themselves. And the rulers take counsel in the NLT. Oh, sorry, let me get an NLT. Um, it says Psalms 2 and 2. Uh, the kings of the earth prepare for battle. The rulers plot together against the Lord, Yahweh, and against his anointed one. Mm -hmm. Let us break their chains, they cry. Let and free ourselves from the slavery, from slavery to God. You see, so that's that's ultimately what Esau has been doing ever since the mo Most High put him in power, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. promising liberty from wisdom and order. 
So you can do whatever you want. You want to be a woman, be a woman. You want to you want to be a man that dresses like a woman, be a man that dresses like a woman. Okay, which is really all centered around Babylon. Going back to the Tower of Babel, it's not an old it's not an old concept or it's not a new concept. Mm -hmm. Let me get this last precept here. Um, this is going to be my last precept. Revelation nineteen. And I'm going to read verse 15 and jump down to 20. In the King James. Revelation 19 and uh, 15. It reads, And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with the rod of iron, which is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And he treadeth down the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty God Yahweh. And he hath on his vesture, Oslake, jump down to 20. It says, oh, well, it says here the doom of the beast and false prophet. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast right so we read earlier that because a lot of starting with you israelites really mainly you israelites because the majority of israel wants to enjoy evil and reject the love of the lord which is to obey and his wisdom Guess what? They received an MARK and they were and they're going to be destroyed. Sure. Yeah, how is that going to destroy them? And them that worshipped his image with or it's like these both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, right? Which is the nuclear missiles, right? Uh, causing that lake of fire upon Babylon the Great and various and other various places of the world. And the remnant were then the remnant were slain with the sword of of him that sat on the horse. You know, right. that, the horse represents the chariots. That's right. Which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. So all the <laughs> mm -hmm. yo, so all the birds, all all the carnage that's gonna be left, the yeah. birds and the animals are gonna feast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're gonna feast, man. So that's it on that's it for me. Um any lasting statements or precepts? Hey, just one precept I have. Con. Isaiah 14 and 19. Con. You just get that, brother. I mean, it's already summed up, man. We know what we're dealing with when it comes to this uh uh uh, uh this creature, this created being, this this person, and it this precept just sums it up in the book of Isaiah, and we know it, but that's all. That's all. Con. Uh, read 18 and 19 together because. All right. Con. Isaiah 14 and 18 it says, All the kings of the nations, all the kings of the nations, even all, all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. But. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's but, their destruction. Con. Yeah. Go ahead. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an, an abominable branch. And as the remnant of those that are slain thrust through with the sword, mm -hmm. that go down to the stones of the pit mm -hmm. as a carcass trodden under feet. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, a special death for Esau. Mm -hmm. And he's not going to escape. That's the whole point. Right. He's not going to escape this. He 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 cannot escape it, no matter what he does. Anyway, that's that's all I got, man. Con, beautiful. Con. So, with that, we're gonna close this lesson. And uh, shalom to the brothers on the comment board. Beautiful precepts. Slack. So we can get to all of them, but uh, the water for participating and putting them up. So we're going to close this lesson by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, 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 Hashem
All right, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of your millstone who rule well and have taught us this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, peace and mercy to the old full elect that are also pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, as well as you little non-sisters that believe. Um, Lord willing, this lesson with edifying to the old full elect. All right, so we're going to say a bob the ball. And a bob the ball. Shalom to the old full elect. Shalom to the old full elect. Shalom to the old full